everyone. I'm Jamie. And I'm Alex. This video is about the shield generator, which stands in the middle of the field. As described in the PowerPort video with Ted and Kelly, teams score power cells in the power ports to charge the shield generator to help protect First City from the asteroid attack. Teams want to charge the shield generator as much as possible and then make it operational. The floor of the shield generator includes boundaries made of steel rectangular tubing. This defines the perimeter of the rendezvous point, which will be important for the end game. Within the rendezvous point, the carpeting is slightly higher because of additional floor protection, so be sure to build your droids accordingly. The shield generator includes three stages, which must be activated in order. Stage one requires scoring nine power cells and transitioning to the teleout period. After an additional 20 power cells are scored, rotation control is required to activate stage two. Then another 20 power cells are required to be scored during stage three, followed by position control. Lights will be illuminated once each stage is activated. Be sure to watch the trench run and control panel video with Amanda and Chuck to learn more about the control panel operation. When an alliance activates all three stages, the shield generator is energized and the alliance receives a ranking point. To make the shield generator operational, alliances need to earn the required endgame points. These endgame points are earned by parking in the rendezvous point, hanging on their generator switch, and getting the generator switch level. The level range is plus or minus eight degrees from horizontal, as measured by these photo eyes. Wow, Alex, I'm thinking there's some really cool physics involved in this switch. That's true. It's a lot less like a teeter-totter than it appears. Droid design is going to have some interesting impacts on how that switch moves, so be sure to think through all the options. Whoa! Teams, be careful as you take your droids off the generator switch. Because your robots are much heavier than these. Good luck, teams. And, and may, may the, the force, force be with us all. all.